Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawasha, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawasha, Bahashem, Rekakwadash, double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled, Surely the Least of the Flock. Lord, will you are edified? This video was inspired by a video Elder Yashawamba posted, and it's entitled, We Are Close, and his page is entitled, Remnant Saved 144. In the midst of uncertainty and turmoil, America's support for Israel's security must be rock solid. The focal point. America's support for Israel. And as Iran continues to launch ballistic missiles while it arms and funds its terrorist proxy Hezbollah, we must stand with Israel. Another focal point, we must stand with Israel. As Hamas maintains its control of Gaza and fires rockets across Israel's southern border, border, we must stand with Israel. And as ISIS and civil war in Syria destabilize the region, displacing millions and threatening shared security interests, we must support all those affected by ongoing violence and terror, and we must stand with Israel. Our defense relationship is critical to both nations, which is why I support the United States' commitment to provide Israel with $38 billion in military assistance over the next decade. It is why I support full funding for Israel, including for the Arrow, David Sling, and the Iron Dome missile defense systems, which save lives. And that's why I am fully committing to maintaining Israel's qualitative military edge. Prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. Jeremiah 50 and 45. Therefore, hear ye the counsel of the Lord Yahweh. Okay. And also, what can be equated to the counsel of the Lord Yahweh? Prophecy, his will. All right. That he have taken against Babylon modern day America and his purposes that he have proposed against the land of the Chaldeans modern day America surely the least of the flock shall draw them out meaning what that America okay will support Israel Israel is classified as the least of the flock shall draw them out and who is them America okay and you heard what this woman said right surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them why hence nuclear destruction Isaiah 9 and verse 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, meaning what? Hand to hand combat. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. World War Three, Which brings me to what? Revelation 11 and 14. The second woe is past. World War II. 
and behold, the third woe come quickly. World War Three. All right. Joel 3 and 1. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. Bring again means what? Redeeming the elect of Israel. Okay? Initiated by Yahweh Shah. Okay? Verse 2. I will also gather all nation, nations. All right? Hence, World War Three. And will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, which means what? Yahweh Shapat, which means what? The judgment of Yahweh or Yahweh's, well, basically Yahweh's judgment, okay? And will plead with them, plead meaning what? Judge. Therefore, my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. All right, last precept, 2nd Ezra 13 and 31. And one shall undertake to fight against another, one city against another, one place against another, one people against another, and one realm against another. All right, but the focal point, one place against another, one people against another, and you can equate this prophecy to World War Three, once once Yahweh Shah penetrates those clouds, then you will have one realm against another. Meaning what? The spiritual realm versus the earthly realm. Isaiah 55 and verse 11, so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. Prophecies, okay? It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. The words of Yahweh by Shem Yahushah, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. All right? And the Most High wants World War Three. Lord, will you edify Shalom?